Tutorial Part 6 Highlight Edges Breakout In this tutorial we will learn how to modify the disturbing edges that occur in highlights when an image like this gets printed by Flexo. First we have to check where we can expect hard edges in the images, so I turn Print Simulation on for visualization. If you want to go plate by plate you may turn Hard Plate Simulation on as well. As you can see, your first dots will be the 5th grey level, highlights between 1 and 4 will be eliminated from the cliché. I start with the magenta plate and ask for a breakout from the new retouch action menu. It appears in my action list below and I double click on it to activate levels. As I start pulling the right lever backward, I can see a real time view of my plate getting shorter and cleaner. I'm cutting down the unnecessary highlight noise all the way up to the 20th grey level. Just like clean and fill actions, breakouts can be turned on and off, can be masked or unmasked and also edited by the brush tool at specific locations. I'm going to mask out the effect of my breakout action here at the chocolates because I only want to get rid of the magenta within the milk splash. You can make corrections anytime by changing foreground background color of the brush. The advantage of this technique I have just shown is that you don't have to create paths or complicated selections for retouching. I just had to find my new favorable edges by pulling back the breakout and then quickly correcting it by a brush tool, no more than one minute. I'm going on with the yellow plate and activate a new breakout on it. It appeared below in the list too and I double click on it just like before. I'm pulling back the right hand level till I'm happy with the result. You can turn this one on and off as well. If you go back to composite view you can see that magenta yellow plates are shortened. Highlight noise is cleaned from the milk splash by a very easy and fast method.